fishing trip and I caught a talking fish. That was a mighty fine play. Oh my god! Is that where it was? Um, yeah. That would have been a great time to lie, son. Um, it's actually, um, I don't know, oregano or something. So, let me tell you a story. It's going to be long-winded, and you're not going to enjoy it, but it'll be funny. Oh, okay. How long is this going to take? Shut up! Uh, right. Now! Okay. <laughs> and shut up, he did. Pop told his poor, defenseless son all about the dangers and benefits of marijuana, including some of his history. And as he promised, it was both long-winded and hilariously funny. And now for your pleasure and enjoyment, some slang terms for marijuana. Pot. Gangsta. 420. Grass. Reefer. Bud. Herb. Skunk. Chronic. Mary Jane. Aunt Mary. Gonja. Weed. Boom. How you doing up there? And now for some slang terms for marijuana cigarettes that aren't nearly as geeky as marijuana cigarettes. Joint. J. What? Trees. Fatty. The kind. Nail. Now that we've shared some general information about marijuana with you, you're probably asking yourself, what does this have to do with our rights and responsibilities? Well, stop being so gosh darn nosy! We were just getting there! Bum bum bum. Now for some hard facts on marijuana. Please inform us, Jason. Fact: Marijuana is the most used drug, in, illegal drug in America. Wow. Fact: More than 71 million Americans have tried it, and over 11 million Americans use it on a regular basis. That's a lot. That's right, my mathematically challenged friend. In the United States, about 25% of people have tried marijuana. About 4% use it on a regular basis. About 10% of people are well educated about the drug. And just about none of you care. But why marijuana? What does it do? When it is taken, the THC in marijuana it triggers a mild euphoria. Also called a high, an increase in sensitivity. These pleasing effects only last about 2 or 3 hours, but keep bringing people back for more. Oh yeah! However, even something so good has some bad effects. Oh man! It increases heart rate sometimes by up to 50%. Oh god. Oh god. It also gives users the munchies. Woo! <laughs> oh yeah. But the biggest threat is inhaled smoke. Inhaling anything but air is really bad for you. Even though mar marijuana isn't manufactured, it still has cancer-causing effects. Oh, poop. Bum bum bum. Well, the rights that we have for marijuana aren't very extensive, as you can see from this graph. The states in green have a law allowing medicinal marijuana, which is marijuana prescribed by your doctor. Marijuana is illegal in all other states. States in red have never had medicinal marijuana laws. States in yellow had them at one point, but they expired. And states in green had laws, but they were repealed. It might have been hard for some of you simple-minded folk to take in, so here's a simpler map for you. In this map, green means the doctor lets you smoke weed. Blue means he doesn't. Got it? Good. Like all things in life, people's views of marijuana have changed over the years. Here's a sampling of what some of those views were from the 30s until today. In the 1930s, there was a so-called fact that pot was the dreaded assassin of youth. It was a one-way ticket to crime, <sighs> madness, <coughs> and despair. In the 1960s, pot's new fact was that pot was just seen as a harmless giggle. Tee hee. Maybe not healthy, but it was groovy, and no harm was done, just like alcohol and tobacco. Everything was about peace, love, and telling down the man. In the 1980s, everything changed. Conservatism was again the cool and in thing to do, and we kept gaining new facts all the time. The assassin of youth was back and was in full force. 
Bum bum bum. If you have marijuana for medical use in a state that doesn't allow it, or have it for recreational use anywhere, you can be punished pretty severely. You may be convicted to up to one year in jail and a fine of $1,000 for just a first offense of possession of marijuana. Your second offense is up to two years, $2,500, and a third is up to three years in jail and a minimum fine of $5,000. We here in America want the facts and we want them now. So here's a quick barrage of facts for those of you with short attention spans. The states have been trying to pass marijuana laws since 1978. The federal laws regarding marijuana are up to one year in prison for possession of just one joint and up to five years possessing just one plant. Although patients may be penalized in federal laws, a state is not required to have identical laws. States may still allow residents to possess, grow, or distribute marijuana for medical purpose. In 91, laws favoring marijuana were passed in 34 states and in the District of Columbia. Since 1996, eight states have enacted laws that allow patients to use marijuana medically. Several states pass laws that say you can prescribe drugs, but federal law states that doctors cannot write out prescriptions for marijuana. Tobacco use causes 430,700 deaths in America every year. According to National High School Survey, lifetime marijuana use declined from 60.4% in 1979 to 32.6% in 1992, but increased from there to 41.7% in 1995. Alcohol use causes 110,640 deaths per year. Over 700,000 arrests are made in the United States every year for marijuana. 600,000 are made for possession, and over 6,000 are made for medical marijuana use. Can marijuana kill you? Well, if you weighed 160 pounds, you'd have to smoke 900 joints to get enough THC to poison your body. Marijuana use causes zero deaths per year. 9% of marijuana users get addicted after they first try it, as opposed to 15% of alcohol and 33% of tobacco. Some of the medicinal uses of marijuana is that it helps give you the hunger, or the munchies, as we talked about earlier. This helps when people have AIDS and they lose their appetite. It also helps with stomach pain or nausea, and it helps with pain all over the body. It also helps to relieve the pressure in the eyes that's uh, caused by glaucoma. Legally, do we have the right to use marijuana? No, we do not. We haven't for over 75 years. Yes, they used marijuana in the 70s, but no one enforced the laws until now. Even medically, the federal government says we cannot use marijuana, but some states, as mentioned earlier, allow the use of medical marijuana. This relates to this use theme because for years and years, Americans have been fighting for the freedom to use marijuana. We compared marijuana to t tobacco and alcohol. If these two products are legal, why can't marijuana be legal too? What does this have to do with responsibilities? Well, good question. Our responsibility as an American is to use our rights legally and to challenge the Constitution for our legal rights on the different issues. Well, we have told you our sorts of facts and statistics about marijuana itself. We have told you how marijuana's image has changed over the years. We have told you what your current rights are and how they have changed. Now it is your turn. Are you content with your current rights? Or do you feel, after all of the evidence you have gained, that they should be increased? The ball is in your hands. Drop it or run with it. It's up to you.